Hi everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on indexing and adding in a drop down menu to the Django admin page. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you need to have is a simple Django project running. So I have one here that I've used before in my old projects. So any Django project is perfectly fine. It would be best if you had a, a project that is quite big with some models and you've made all your migrations etc that would be preferred however you don't have to do so but it would be preferred to have that before you continue with this video so the package we're going to install is called django admin index so it's going to allow us to index our admin page and as you can see if i scroll down here you can see some pictures here as to what i mean here so you can see that we have some drop down menus you could say which are categorized right at the top of Django admin. So instead of manually clicking on the links, you have a bit more of a cleaner UI experience. And there's a lot of things that you can add in and manage and manipulate as you so desire. So as you can see, if I scroll down here, you can see various configuration settings, such as which um, apps you want to show and the models that pertain to those apps. And you can also set various permissions here as to what you want to add in and take out of place. But anyway, let me show you the simple way to get started with this. So what you want to do is, of course, go ahead and install this package within your virtual environment. So I'll stop my server and say pip install Django admin index. It's going to install a few sub packages along with it, but that's perfectly fine. Once that's done, you can scroll down and we've already done the installation part so we've installed the django admin index and we're just going to follow the steps so the first thing that you want to do is you want to add in django underscore admin index and ordered underscore model in your list of installed apps now do keep in mind it's imperative that you add in these apps right above django.contribadmin so i'm just going to add two of these apps and you want to head on over to your project settings.py file and here we go. And as you can see, I have django.contribadmin at the, at the top. So we need to make sure that we put these two apps here. So django underscore admin index and ordered underscore model right above admin here. So just make sure that you've done that. Next, we want to create the database tables for admin the admin index app. So we just need to perform a migration. So what you can do is you can go ahead and you can copy the following head on over to your terminal and you want to run python manage.py migrate admin underscore index. Here we go. Next, what you want to do is you want to head on to your Django admin page. Now, if you haven't got a super user, I'll show you how to create one. You can say python manage.py create super user. Okay, give a username. I'm going to call this arno1 email skip password. And again, there we go, and we can run our server. Right, so now we can head on to our admin page. So you can just put forward slash admin and go ahead and enter in your credentials. Now we can log in. There we go. And as you can see now, we have everything tightened up. So we can see under one group, we have miscellaneous, we have application groups, customers, groups, and users. So what I'm going to do is zoom in. So as you can see here, customers is of course a model that is part of my application. And we of course have our user model and the groups model. So for most of you, if your application isn't that um, built up yet, you'll have users and groups, the sections. And then of course, in this case here, I have a customer model here. So in my own application, in web app, which is my app, and I go to models, I have a customer model. So we can already see that the structure here is a little bit more formatted. And we can see we have an option to go to the dashboard. And then under miscellaneous, we can scroll between the various areas that we so desire. So if I were to go to customers, it's going to take me to my customer model you can go to groups takes me to the customer uh, the groups op, um, section users and also i have something known as application group so i can create my own application group if i desired so i can say add application group 
And as you can see here, I can go ahead and pretty much set up anything that I so desire and I can go ahead and index this accordingly as I would see fit. So let's go ahead and do a simple example here because here we are under admin index and we want to create an application group. Right, so let's say we want to create another uh, drop down, so like an index you could say, that's going to be based on similar models. So what we can do is add an application group. So here I'm going to call this user management as an example. And under translation here, you need to add in some JSON data. So it is required. Now, if you want it to be blank, what you can do is just add in the following. And that's going to be, let me zoom in here. And you can just add here EN. And then you can just add in a colon and add in a value. And I'm just going to add in NA as an example. So we just need to add in some valid JSON here. That's all you need to do. And you can scroll down and we can see it's going to generate a slug for us that is user dash management. And here you can choose the models that you want to group. So which models do you want to go ahead and group together? So I'm going to look for something that pertains to user management. So in my application, I have my default auth users. And then I'm also going to have customers from my own model. So under my app web app customer, I'm going to add that to my model as well. And then I'm going to scroll down and say save. Okay, so user management was uh, added successfully and we successfully indexed our own application group. So now we can go to our dashboard. And as you can see now, we have miscellaneous, we have application groups and our regular groups. And we can see we have a new structure here under our um, modules. So we have user management, customers and users. And we can also filter this accordingly. So we can go to our customer model, our users model. And of course, we can just go ahead and keep on building indexes as we, as we see fit. Now, something you're probably wondering if we go to add the application group, why do we need to add in some JSON? So it seems with this particular package, you have to add in some JSON. Uh, I'm sure in the docs there's somewhere that you can read on to the further details and if you want to take it off, that's something you can probably do, but that's just something that I've come across here. Now, something else I wanted to go over here is with the optional settings. So keep in mind these settings, you can add to your settings.py file. And it seems that all of these are based on Boolean states. So you can just set them to true or false and the like. But anyway, guys, that's it on this package on how you can add in an index. So you're going to index your Django admin page, create drop downs and filter accordingly, which is a lot easier and a lot smoother than going ahead and clicking on links, in my opinion. And it also just gives you something extra that you can utilize in your own personal applications. All right, guys, so that's it for this tutorial. And as always, thank you for the support and I'll see you next time.